Hello fellow Nigerians. Today, our focus will be on the legislative arm of government. One of the things that we've done over time is to ignore the legislative arm of government. We have not really realized the potential that it has. The legislative arm of government is the bedrock of democracy. They make laws, they have oversight function, and they hold executive accountable. The executive cannot act so much without the power, without the authority given to them by the legislative arm of government. But what do we usually have in Nigeria is the fact that the legislative arm of government has actually sold off its powers. It has made itself to be sort of like re redundant or like what is popularly called a toothless good dog. The legislative arm of government it's the National Assembly and also the State Houses of Assembly. Without the approval of the National Assembly, the federal government, the executive arm of government will not be able to do a lot of things. Also, without the approval of the State Houses of Assembly, the governors will not be able to do a lot of things. But what do we have? Ironically, the, uh, the executive arm seem to control the legislative arm, and especially it's more prevalent when it comes to the state, uh, at the state level. So what do we need to do? We need to vote in people with competence, character, and capacity into the legislative arm of government and ensure that when they get there, they put Nigeria first and not their own interests. If we're able to have the right kind of people in the legislative arm of government, the many things that many Nigerians are yearning for will actually come to play. For example, let's take the constitution. A lot of people want a new constitution. People don't want this 1999 constitution, no matter how much it's amended, they see it as a fraud because it wasn't done with the people really uh, in mind and by the people. So if we want a new constitution, it's not the president that's going to give us a new constitution, it's the legislative arm of government. And if the president, if they give us a new constitution and the president does not want to assent to it, what do they do? They have the power to override the president by using their two-third. So that's, that's powerful. So what we need to do right now is to ensure that we are checking people. Let's vote candidates instead of party. Don't just vote blindly. Look at every level. Who is supposed to represent you as a state house of uh, 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 assembly member? Who is supposed to represent you as your house of representative member? Who is supposed to represent you as your senator? Check them and ensure that the best person, the person who is most competent, who has the most character, and who has the most capacity and, the, and is most patriotic, and will do the right thing, and will work for the people rather than for selfish and personal interests, is the person that you are voting for. You can have different party as president, different party governor, different party house of uh, assembly member, different party house of rep member, different party senator. We must, we must do all we can to be able to give Nigeria the best people, the right people that we move Nigeria forward. And at this time, it's like a buffet. We'll have to pick and choose the best people that will do the, the best job. Please, 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 let's not ignore the legislative arm of government. We've ignored it for too long. And no matter how much you work hard and you put in someone in as a president or governor, if you do not have the right legislative members, they can frustrate and they can even impeach or throw the person out. We don't want that, right? We want the people that we put us, the people of Nigeria first, put the nation first, and ensure that we have a country where the child of nobody can become somebody without knowing anybody. That is the big goal. Thank you.